just just give five seconds. Five seconds. Don't worry, I'll use my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can swap. I can swap. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, can everyone hear me? Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Still keeping awake after a long day, yeah? Well, I'm not. So my, so, my name is Mark Fenton. I'm from Potter in the US. I'm actually based here in Dubai, but Potter's a US based company. So, Edge, as you probably know, are our local partners. But they've asked me to present our new Potternet uh, graphics package. What I would say is this is a brand new package. It's only been released this month, so it's, it's, it's fairly new. So what is Potternet? It's basically a life safety graphical uh, network supervised system. So it's basically a graphics package for the Potter pot systems. The main difference for the Potternet is it's TCP IP driven. Okay, so everything in terms of the system is all connected through TCP IP. Okay. The system has a capacity for 1,000 panels, 300,000 data points, uh, 15 graphical workstations across the system, um, and there can be single monitor, multi-monitor use. And the system basically supports our IPA, which is our addressable panel, which is on the stand around the corner, our AFC panel, which is very similar, but it also supports our extinguishing systems, which is the ARC 100, which is an addressable system, and the PFC system, which is our uh, conventional extinguishing. So basically, this means you can connect conventional extinguishing systems into a network as well. In terms of applications, um, <laughs> colleges, universities, hospitals, all sorts of applications, multi panel type of networks. In terms of volume is down, let's just keep it like okay. okay. So in terms of systems, you can do things like uh, basically anything that can connect to an Ethernet system can be connected to the, <coughs> the graphics package. So if it's a school system with different buildings, whether it's a campus system where you've got a, a wide area uh, network, where you've got different panels across the, diff the size of the campus or whether it's multi-site, multi-country campuses. So if you have different product uh, panels in different buildings across the country, you can connect this in. All you need is the TCP IP network, then you can connect the panel straight into the system. Okay. And again, simple systems, high rise. If you've got a high rise, you can just connect into the client's TCP IP network, Ethernet network, connect the system up, and you're up and running. <laughs> It's just a standard straight forward Ethernet protocol. It's basically a fixed IP and standard protocol. I can send you the details of the uh, server requirements, but it's Microsoft based servers. In terms of configuration, it's very simple. All you need to do is plug the Ethernet into the panel. So all the panels have an Ethernet port, and you just plug the, the, panel in, the, the Ethernet into the panel. Okay. Once you've got the server license up and you connect it, the system will automatically learn everything that's on the panels. So you connect the panel, configure the software, it will also learn everything that's on all the panels on the system. It also import the programs from all of the panels as well. So anything that's programmed into the panel will be imported into the, the graphics system. In terms of the graphics, it's just drag and drop. You can import the, 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 the drawing files, and just drag and drop the icons into the, the into the system, and then you can correct up to a thousand user profiles, so a thousand different users, each with different passwords, each with different access levels. So you can choose if you want a maintenance level, you want a supervisor level, you want a uh, super user level. You can configure all of those with the different password levels. Basically, it's a Panels are connected on the Potter network, everything's over TCP IP, 
So there's no additional cable required, it's just the client's TCP IP network, if there is one, and there's no additional hardware. You take the standard Potter panel and you just connect the, the uh, Ethernet straight into it. It's as simple as that. Okay. In terms of the graphics, you can customize the floor plans, take any drawings, you can pan it, zoom it, whatever you want to do, it's very straightforward. Um, Multi-monitor, so up to 15 different monitors, and you, you buy the licenses for the numbers of monitors that you need to, to use, so you can scale it up. Um, and then the icons, basically you drop the icons, drag and drop the icons to the, to the, to the devices, you can choose the types of icons you want to use, and, and they will give you the point of incident in terms of fire or fault or whatever. The event counter, uh, basically you can count up to um, take, take any type of event, so it'll tell you whether it's fire or it's fault or it's disabled or device missing, and all of that information. Whatever the panel tells you, this will, this will give you. And in terms of synchronization, basically all the, all the panels share, all the network shares all the information. So if you make a change on one panel, it will automatically update the whole network. Okay, you don't need to change anything else, it's an automatic update across the whole network. So this is just a very simple uh, graphic. You can, you can choose the, the icon to turn the symbols. If you get a fire or a fault, the, 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 the device or the icon will expand, change color, and give you a complete summary of the event and what's happening, and then you can drill down into each of those, get further information, add information. So if you want to add information about a specific device or a specific room, you can do that as part of the configuration setup. But it's very straightforward to, to, to do. In terms of commands, you can command the, uh, control the whole system from any graphic station, so reset, silence, acknowledge, tests, fire drills, can all be done from any of the stations. It's only dependent on the password, whoever's got the password access to do that. You can re read all the devices, so any device you can read that, you know, whether it's getting dirty, whether it's missing, the address number, the type of device, all that information is readily available. You can keep a history file of the last three million events, so years and years of data, no problem there. And then within the configuration studio, there is a configuration tool, so you can choose any types of uh, the panel configuration files, floor plan types, JPEG, PNG files, uh, standard device icons, you can drag and drop, as I said before. So it's a very straightforward uh, system. And there is a system maintenance, so everything's backed up. On, on the system. Easy configuration, um, as I said before, if you just connect the panels, it will automatically download all the information. And this is really just the beginning. The next step, there'll be a UL version in terms of the graphics user interface station, which will be UL listed. Uh, and then the networking, peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking will come with that as the next stage, so that's good. So that's basically it, that's very quick. Um, it was only a 15 minute presentation. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer that. If not, thank you very much for your uh, attention. Thank you. Thanks.